Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in today. Behind me is a 2020 Logan stock combo that we want to show you and we're going to walk you completely through this trailer. These Logan stock, stock combos have been very, very popular and very, very good sellers for us. Uh, over the years, stock combos have just became almost one of the most versatile trailers out there. You can haul your horses, you can haul livestock, you can haul four-wheelers, UTVs, anything like that, and also have a tack room in there that you can lock your tack up and even throw a mattress in there and spend a night or two in it. So again, they're one of the most popular trailers out there on the market. They hold their value extremely well. We have a hard time getting them in on trade because most people don't want to give them up. They want to keep it or they've got a friend or a neighbor or they can put it on the private market and sell it pretty easily and get, get more than we can offer for trade-in value on it. So again, that's why they've become so popular. But I'm gonna walk you through this, Logan, because we've done some, a couple different things to this trailer. This is a 24 foot. We did a four foot front tack, but we did it on a slant wall. And I'll walk you through that. But let's start underneath the, the gooseneck here. It's got a single leg manual jack. And then your crank handle stores back behind here. But the other cool thing is, is it doubles as a lug wrench for you as well. So you've always got that handy and with you. The other thing underneath this, this gooseneck, and this is something that Logan does, is they put a vortex lining on this trailer, especially the guts, you know, the real frame to this trailer before they start putting the side sheets on it. But I really like this vortex lining, especially underneath this gooseneck and on this gooseneck drop wall, because you can look at some trailers and over time, if you're going down a lot of dirt roads especially, gravel, rocks, things like that bounce up, that road blast, and it just kind of does some damage to the front of the trailer. Um, puts a lot of dings in there, just makes it look ugly. Um, this vortex lining will significantly help with this. I'll never tell you that you'll never get a ding in this or anything like that, but it will reduce that road blast underneath this trailer probably by about 95%. I mean, it's this stuff is really, really tough, and, and we really, really like that on these trailers. As I mentioned, we have a four foot short wall on this trailer, on the front tack room, and we put it on a slant. So this passenger side long wall, you know, you have a lot of space here. It allows us to put a nice big tack door on here but also have a swing out saddle rack for you. So you get four tier saddle rack. Again, that swings in. And even when that swings in, I want you to look, you have a ton of room that you can walk in and out of that tack room. A lot of other manufacturers, that saddle rack will be pushed so far forward that you almost have to swing it out for you to get into the tack room when you have saddles on there. Like I mentioned, up here on the gooseneck deck, would be a great place for a mattress. You can throw sleeping bags. You've got two windows, so it creates a cross brace through here. You also have a window in the tack door, so you can get some air circulating in here. Went ahead and just carpeted everything in here. On the partition wall, you see a lot of hooks. You can hang a lot of items up there, carpeted behind that as well. But in that back corner, you know, there's still a lot of space between this partition wall and these saddle racks. That's a great place for us to go in and add a corner water tank for you. Our parts department sells those, they're very easy to install, they're a 25 gallon, they're a gravity feed, so there's little items like that we can go into these trailers after the fact and add for you, um, that'll just make things a little bit easier, life a little bit better, uh, but we can go in and do a lot of things to the trailers.
down here on the floor. On Logan's standard models, you also, with the purchase of the trailer, you get a tire changing ramp, which those are fantastic for you to, if you do have a flat, you can pull up, change it, not have to worry about a jack or anything like that, and then just back right off or pull forward and off, off you go. On the tack door, you've got your four tier blanket poles. They also release and swing out. And then you've got a brush tray down below for some additional storage. One thing I want to point out is this is a nice big heavy duty tack door. And I tell everybody, dead giveaway is if you look at a tack door and if it's squared at the top, that means it was built at the factory. If it's rounded at the top, it's a prefab door. So the weight of the door is going to feel completely different. Um, I mean, I hate to use the example, but it's almost like a prefab door is like a piece of paper in your hand. I mean, it's really lightweight. Um, you have to kind of be cautious when you close it, making sure it really latches really well. Um, sometimes on those doors, you actually have to lock them when you go down the road because certain bumps will just make the door pop open. Now, thankfully, we hinge everything this direction, so it's not going to swing completely away from you on those prefab doors, but that is one thing you have to do. It's where on these big heavy duty tack doors, you know, it's really easy to slam. They're heavy duty. You feel the weight when you have that door in your hand. But like I mentioned, they're square at the top, which means that was made at Logan's factory. A lot of big framing in this door. You have an escape door. Going into the front stall, you've got some exterior tie rings, and then you've got the same on the other side of the trailer. This is equipped with two 7,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles. You also have a load light. This trailer is going to have three load lights around it, one on each side of the trailer and one at the back, and they're all on the same switch here at the back of the trailer that I'll show you here in a minute. One thing we optioned on this trailer is we did the solid door, but then we also filled in the air gaps. One of the reasons why is at the back of these trailers, when you're going down the road, like I mentioned, going down a lot of dirt and gravel roads, that wind will swirl at the back of the trailer. And it'll actually a lot of times suck it in these back air gaps, which will then, you know, animals are breathing more dusty air, which isn't good. Um, if you have this trailer full of cattle, full of horses, and you go down a, a gravel road and it has those air gaps in the back, you're gonna notice that the animals are gonna be covered with more dust at the back and gradually taper off as you move forward. So we like filling in these air gaps. On these, on each side, you've got these hooks here as well. So if you are needing to load something, you've got some a makeshift alleyway or panels or anything like that, you can actually hook to there. So like I mentioned, this is a 24 footer. So we have a four foot short wall in that front tack room. So our long wall over here is gonna be 20 feet. With it being a slant, we actually took our center gate and we put it on a slant to match the angle of that front partition wall as well. So that front stall, if you actually put a tape measure and you go straight across from the gate to that partition wall, it's seven foot across there. So that's a good size front stall room. And I always try to tell everybody is, is on, our, on our standard horse trailers, you know, 39 inches is standard width on those trailers. So, you know, you easily can put two saddled horses up there. I mean, they can even be big and they're gonna be comfortable in that front stall right there. But some cool things is, is, you know, you do have that slam latch 
So from a safety purpose, when you're loading, you get the animals in there, you can just literally slam that gate. You're not having to hold this as animals are pushing back, trying to get a pin in or anything like that. So I really like that safety feature and I'll show you on that rear gate too here in a minute. And I talked about that vortex lining when we were underneath. So here it is on the inside of this stall area as well. Again, it's very durable. It's very easy to clean. Um, I think it deadens the noise in this stall area quite a bit. You don't really have that echo near as much as a lot of other trailers. This trailer is 7.3 wide. So it's a little bit wider than most standard trailers. This is, this is Logan's standard width. So you will get a little bit of wheel well in the trailer. But again, you're just getting that added width, so it's giving you a little bit more stall area, which is fantastic. Let me shut this. I'm going to show you this tie rail that they put in here as well. So Logan's gone in and they put a tie rail the whole length of, of this stall area. There's also one on the passenger side as well, but you know, on driver's side, tying horses in, you can get them in, tie them up, and step away from them to the left, so it's really safe. But the other thing I really like this is I understand we have these upright posts to tie to, but there's actually a track that Logan has put in all their stock trailers, and I'll show you here in a minute where if you wanted to add plexiglass to this trailer, you can. So if that plexiglass is in there, you can't tie to this post, but you can to this tie rail, which is fantastic. And then we talk about it time and time again, but this is uh, Logan's self-draining floor, which we feel is the best out there as far as a self-draining floor on the market. And it's because of the steps that Logan has taken and I'm going to show you right up here. So running the length of the trailer are these aluminum planks. Between the planks, there's a little bit of an air gap. And what that'll do is, on top, you have the sure grip flooring on top of the whiz proof flooring. But this porous rubber floor will allow liquid, urine, anything like that to work its way through, through the floor, find one of these gaps, and out it goes right out of the trailer. But what's really cool is, is they've also gone in and they've done this vortex lining on it. So when the urine goes through the floor, hits that whizproof flooring, and then works its way to one of those gaps and goes out of the trailer, it's never making contact with the aluminum because of the vortex lining. So I've done this on some trailers before, but it is so cool on this. We really like to show you how it works. So I got a bucket of water here. I'll do it a couple times. But as that water hits, any urine, anything like that, it just kind of spreads out and out the trailer it goes. So as you can imagine, when you're hauling cattle, you're hauling horses, anything like that. These trailers actually stay so much cleaner because we get that liquid out of the trailers. That urine's just gone. To where when you need to go ahead and clean this out, you just muck out your solids. I like to nose the trailer up a little bit and come through the escape door with my power washer and out it goes. I mean, you're not having to pull mats ever on this trailer. With the vortex lining on the sidewalls with this floor here, it's very, very easy to clean, very easy to power wash out. Um, you know, you don't want uh, your, your tip on your power washer. You want more of a fan. You don't want it to be really, really tight, anything like that. But it, again, very, very easy to, to clean this trailer out. I'll do it for you one more time here, showing you how that works. And even when it's wet, this trailer has a lot of grip and it's actually a more comfortable ride than just like your standard rubber mats. We talked about adding uh, plexiglass to these trailers. So at the back here, actually this one's located on the front. So I'll show you that. 
This aluminum piece you take off, you slide your plexiglass in, and then you put that piece back on. But that's standard on all Logans, that track's already there for you so you can have that cut. We're going to make our way to the back again one more time because I want to show you this rear slam latch. Talked about safety on the center cut gate, but they also have it on the rear gate, which again, loading animals, we get this trailer tight, get some pears in there, you get some bulls in there. For safety purposes, I love this because you can literally walk up and slam that gate and it is shut. Now they do have an additional cam latch here that will swing over and lock, but from a safety standpoint, we absolutely love that slam latch. I'll do that for you one more time. Like I mentioned, you have an additional load light over here. And then we have tie rings. You actually have one extra one because this is the long wall of the stall area to where we had the short wall of the stall area on the other side of the trailer. So you have five tie rings over here and four over there. Like I mentioned, this is a 2020 Logan Coach 24 foot stock combo. Our stock number on the trailer is 5N191. 294. If you're interested in this trailer particularly or one of our others that we have available, we try to keep a couple 20 footers and a couple 24 footers. So if you're not as big on the slant wall, we have some 24 foot straight walls, 20 foot straight walls, 20 foot slant walls. So we try to keep a good variety here for you. And obviously we can build you whatever you want if there's anything custom you want done to the trailer. But we appreciate you tuning in. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. If you want to talk about this trailer or any other trailers we have available, give us a call. You can talk to anybody on our sales team. 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.